dear learners in this session i'll be discussing most important questions from uh, module 4 of the subject electromagnetic waves in some university uh, the subject title is field theory electromagnetic field theory okay so concept will be same only moving on to the discussion so before uh, like uh, moving on to the important questions and discussion i request you to go through this topic thoroughly magnetic forces especially you have to follow the numerical examples Forced on different uh, differential current element, then magnetic materials. In that, uh, you need to study about the paramagnetic material, diamagnetic material, and the ferromagnetic material. Sometimes uh, in the university questions, you may get the questions like, uh, what are the differences between paramagnetic, ferromagnetic, and diamagnetic materials? Then magnetic boundary conditions. There are uh, mathematical equations, fundamentals of magnetic circuits. Ultimately, magnetic theory energy calculation okay how to calculate the magnetic energy so these are the important topics you need to cover at least from the module for before going to the examination now i'll be uh, guiding you how to uh, focus on the uh, content which is presented in module 4 and uh, there are so many important questions and numerical examples let me uh, cover that particular topic please watch this video completely sure. i promise you that once you complete uh, this particular video and we will get to know which topic you need to focus, how to focus. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you know that the content uh, which we are going to discuss is module 4. So the topic is magnetic force. Okay, here general equation, uh, F is equal to QE. This equation is very important. Okay, electric, where E is known as electric field intensity, F is the force and Q is the charge, unit charge. Okay, uh, now what we can do is F is equal to Q V B sin theta or F Q into V cross T because uh, the like uh, here V and V both are uh, perpendicular that you are supposed to remember. Okay, special case. Uh, I think you might have studied during the plus two classes. Now we can write like uh, the total Lorentz force, Lorentz force equation F is equal to Q into E plus V cross V neuter. This is called the Lorentz magnetic Lorentz force. So there are some numerical examples based upon this topic. You can see this. Okay. So here the main concept is you need to use F is equal to Q into E. And uh, they have given uh, the vectors. So you need to deal with uh, the vectors properly. Okay. If it's unit vector, how to calculate unit vector? Uh, the given vector divided by modulus. Okay. That you are supposed to remember. If you want to calculate the closed product, you are supposed to use the determinant. That concept also you should know. Fine. So modulus, you know how to calculate. Okay, that is also most important. Some cases A X A by A Z, everything will be written like uh, I J K. That is also acceptable. But uh, in the standard uh, textbook, they will be mentioned like A X cap, A Y cap, A Z cap. Clear. Ultimately, you have to take the vector sum. Fine. So uh, this is the way how to solve this problem. Yeah, don't forget to mention the unit. Force on differential current element. Uh, that is also important. Okay. Like uh, some small derivation you may get. So ultimately, remember the expression. Okay. Expression F is equal to I and B sine theta. That is very important. Okay. Ultimately, you should reach both on differential current element. Ultimate expression is uh, B I L sine theta or I and B sine theta. So there are numerical examples you can expect it regarding the same concept. Please go through, it, go through this one. Then force between the differential current element. Okay. How the force between two? Uh, anyway, you know that when a current is passing through the conductor, the surrounding area is getting magnetized. That concept you know, right? Uh, you might have studied about the crop rule. Okay. So uh, two current carrying conductors are placed. If it is like the same, the current is flowing in the same direction, the force will be just like opposite. If the current is in the opposite direction, obviously the repulsion force will be taken place. If it is like, uh, okay, that you are supposed to remember. Okay. Attraction and repulsion. So based upon that, you can uh, like, uh, Go ahead with the new law that is called as bio Savart law. Okay. That also will be discussing. We already discussed the bio Savart law. So now that concept also you have to apply here. Here, what you can do is you can compute. Okay, you can compute the total force equal to mu i1 i2 l divided by 2 pi d. Okay, there are numerical examples kindly go through once. Okay, it will be helpful for your. Uh, like university examination as well as internals. Okay, you can have a look on this. Next is magnetic material, magnetization and the permeability. 
Okay, so here uh, you need to stop the study about the permeability. It's the ability of a material to pass the magnetic flux. That is called the permeability. Okay, uh, here uh, what you can do is small expression. There are few expressions available. Definition of magnetization. Okay, so this uh, basic expression you are supposed to remember. Then you are applying the Ampere circuit in low here. So ultimately the expression which you are expected to mention is the I is equal to See, look at this. M is equal to psi m into h or and mr is equal to mu r minus uh, h bar. H where h is equal to m divided by mu r minus bar. So these are the final things uh, which you will be achieving. Okay. Now you are supposed to show the numerical examples. These numerical examples, calculation of magnetic field in density, then magnetic flux density. Okay. Those calculations. Okay, that's also important. So, you can go through these particular numerical examples. Next is the magnetic boundary conditions. Okay, so this is also important, magnetic boundary conditions. Here you will be applying the ghost law. Okay, ghost law will be applied like uh, uh, inside the like the conductor. Uh, we can say that in the entire charge that is going to be distributed outside integral of V dot ds that will be equal to zero. Now we can divide the integrals like the top, bottom, lateral side, etc. Okay, ultimately uh, you are you are expected to reach one expression which I am going to show here. See this this is actually final equation. Okay, boundary condition by applying the boundary condition you will be getting this expression. There are special cases like, uh, for example, if boundary condition is free of current, if media are uh, not uh, conductors, then what is going to happen? So like that, you can mention the like the different boundary conditions. There are numerical examples, uh, which uh, the skill is required, B is equal to mu h. The concept, basic equation you should know. And you have to apply those equations in real time. So then only it will work out. Otherwise, at the time of examination, it never works out. Then magnetic circuit. So what is the meaning of magnetic circuit? Circuits are used in electric motors, generators, transformers, galvanometer. These circuits are like uh, made up of closed path containing magnetic flux. Flux is usually generated by uh, permanent magnets, conventional method. Okay. So just remember this. Yes, ultimately, we'll be reaching this particular expression. Okay. So please go through that. Then magnetic energy, half L I square. Okay, how you are going to derive half L I square? That is also matters a lot. So there are some numerical example you can expect from that a half L I square expression. So another expression is uh, F is equal to B square S divided by two mu zero, where S is nothing but uh, reluctance. Okay, magnetic reluctance. So there are numerical examples. We can work out and uh, find out the answers. Then there are some derivations. Okay. And that you can go through this. These are the important derivations, which will be helpful for your exam point. Problems also, these are the most important problems. If you want, you pause this particular video and you can work manually. For your betterment, I'll be scrolling down very slowly. Okay, so mag that uh, magnetic flux density, those things are most important. So derivations uh, we have written separately, post on differential current element, look at this. Final expression also very important here. F is equal to ILB sin theta. Force between uh, differential current element. That is another part of derivation. Okay. That also we'll, uh, we can make out. F is equal to uh, mu I1 I2 L by 2 pi. Then force on moving charge, lower and force equation. Derive lower and force equation. Uh, F is equal to Q into E plus V cross B neutral. So magnetic boundary condition, that's also important. Boundary condition, how to write the boundary conditions. Okay. Those things that all you have to take care. These are relations. Okay. Tangent uh, then tangential components. So those points uh, we'll discuss. Then note on magnetic circuit. What are the differences between electric circuit and a magnetic circuit? I think this question you can expect in the examination. EMO for uh, here MO magnetic motive force. Okay, then I is electric current, phi is magnetic flux. R is equal to resistance.
So like that, you can uh, important equations also available. See, look at this. So this question, I think you will be getting very good, uh, like uh, maybe six or seven marks. So current density, J is equal to sigma E. Here, flux density, B is equal to mu H. Then calculation, potential between two points. B A B is equal to minus A to B E dot D L. B A B is equal to minus H dot D L. Okay, so a few differences. Here, E is equal to I R. In magnetic circuit, E M is equal to phi R. Those difference you should have a good idea so that you can deal with the electromagnetic very easily. Okay, so magnetic circuit four with the gap. First of all, we should know what is four everything. Okay, forces on magnetic material. Four is nothing but uh, this is the one. This is actually the core of the tank over here. Equal to four. So difference between electric and the uh, magnetic circuit that will be discussed. Force on magnetic materials. Okay. F is equal to lifting power of magnet. Those things I think you might have studied. F is equal to B square S by 2 mu 0. That is a final expression. Expression for inductance of solenoidal. Uh, consider the solenoid of n, n term, n terms. So the total flux ring is equal to mu n square I n by n. This is also a very important equation which uh, I have studied during my system square engineering. Self inductance, okay. What is self inductance? L is equal to m pi by m. Okay, so like this, you can uh, practice the particular questions. Surely, uh, you can get very good for. So, problem five, I think it's a repetition. Okay, so remember whenever you are going to calculate like a uh, vector product, uh, vector go for curl. Okay, closed. So, let me know if you have any queries related to module number five. I have given ample of time. Sorry, module number four. You take your time and slowly you like uh, get into the process. Let me know if you have any questions related to the particular topic. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.